25. I don't know about you folks, but I miss those that went on recently. Not only that, but those way back as far as 10, 12 years has been and used to come to church. And every time I look at this bank over here, I'm that Sunday morning, Bill, they had a meeting here when I came here, do you remember? Little Sherry read that thing and was telling how people ought to, that have got a good preacher and got good deacons and got a good church and we ought to really praise the Lord for it. I may not say it in that word, but I still got the copy she wrote back in May of uh, 16 years ago. I keep all that stuff and little retarded girl that used to come over here with the preacher and he's gone now. I don't know where she's at, but I hadn't heard anything from her. But I got that where she had a little old thing of footprints all over it and how she loved her church and her preacher. And I'll tell you something tonight. I love God and I believe you do or you wouldn't be here. If you come any other purpose than to worship and serve the Lord, you come to the wrong house. Amen. 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 <clears throat> but anyhow, Psalms 125, just for a little few minutes here. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abideth forever. Did you ever think about that? Who you trust in God tonight? Are you trusting God or trusting yourself? I don't trust myself. <laughs> I don't trust my wife, I don't trust my youngins, I just trust God, and God takes care of me, my wife and young. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I got a, a little curly cute y'all used to, she's still growed up and had her hair straightened on her. Uh, uh, I take her to school four days a week and fix her breakfast for her, and you know what she told her mama the other day? Uh, it's funny what youngins will say. She said, Grandpa said, uh, what are you fixing for breakfast? I said, what do you want? She told her mama, said, hot dog. Grandpa's taking me four days this week, and I'll get to eat good four days. <laughs> <laughs> so, tonight, if you really want to eat from heaven's door, trust God. Amen. 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 Trust in the living God. I told the feller, the other night, he was uh, come up to me, and I hadn't seen him since he was a little fella, and he come up to me and Deb and Louise, we stopped and got us a, a sandwich on the way home Sunday night, <coughs> and stood there talking to him, and said, you're Preacher Michaels, aren't you? I said, yeah, I'm him. He said, well, we was talking about you the other day. He said, Dan Hensley was preached up at our church, and said, he stood up and told the whole church that Reverend Hiram Michaels read the first scripture that he ever preached. And he told you, church staff, that, that was back years ago. His wife learned him how to read, Brother Tim, after that. Taught him how to read, and he can, he, he preached to her, you heard it. And he kept on talking a little bit, and he said, boy, my daddy done something tonight yeah. at church. And that was, he said, he did, he said he called the fellow drinking a beer and put him out of the church as a heathen, and I said, you can't do it. Amen. You can't do it. Bible said, leave him alone, let God do the judge. But I told my wife was going the way home, I said, he's going to hurt his church. But I want to tell you one thing. If you get praying right good, I have. I saw a fellow one night come into church and drunk, he couldn't stand up. And he left there walking on the chapel better than everybody else. God sobered him up and saved him. So they that trust in the Lord shall be as a Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abideth forever. Amen. Thank God there's a guy asked me today, I believe it was this morning, he said, uh, Preacher, how old are you now? And I said, well, I'm 72. Last Monday he said, you don't look it. I said, well, don't you think my life has had something to do with that? I've been preaching since I was 19. And Tim, you see people that used to be drunks and like his, uh, had beards and fall in the ditch, but when they got saved, you didn't know them the next time you met them. God cleans you and straightens you up. Amen. He forgives you. He ain't like men. Lord, there's people that'll hold things against you as Brother Doug as long as you live. 
throw it in your face every time you say, well, let's throw it my way. I can take it. Amen. I'm glad God's on my side and I ain't worried about the devil because he sure ain't nothing but a liar. And the Bible says the father of us. But number two, as the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people from his forth ever forever. Amen. Amen. Miss Danford, I know you've read it, and all you ladies and gentlemen in yours read it. He said, I will never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I'll go with you even to the end of the way. Aren't you glad of that? But you know, like Brother Tim mentioned in our meeting tonight, God's looking for Brother Tim, somebody that's faithful to him. Amen. Amen. He ain't talking about a one-day Christian, one a year. Or when to have a hamburger hot dog. He wants somebody there when you don't have nothing to eat but from heaven above. Amen. 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 Arnold, he wants you. He wants you there, don't he, brother? Amen. So we're, you know, Sunday night, I, I told her, uh, if, if you wasn't here Sunday night, you missed it. That little lady back there started shouting. She couldn't help me. She just kept, kept and Rita reminded me sort of me and you and uh, your sister and them went to Murray that night. That little woman was older than her, wasn't she? And she shouted all over the place, her eyes closed, never bumped into the banks or nothing. And she just praised God and had her a good time. You talk about a time, we had a time in Mary. Amen. And a lot of people say, well, preacher, you believe in that? Yes, sir. I was raised up with people shout. I was raised up with women coming down the aisle with long hair and fell down the bobby pins covered the floor and then skippity hop and take a little white handkerchief and holler, Woo! Woo! And brother, it didn't hurt nothing. It just lit somebody else's fire. I told that little lady to come by me over there Sunday night, just keep it up, honey. Might rub off on somebody else. Amen. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the law of the righteous, lest, lest the righteous put forth their hands unto a nicotine. Whoa, you know what he's saying? He said, some the people that didn't see they're going to have nothing to do with you. If you don't have nothing to do with them, and they're a nicotine. Yeah. Now, I ain't talking about not having nothing to do with them, but tell them about God. Say, Amen. I don't care if he's the biggest drunk or she's the biggest heart that's ever been. But what really got me, boy, these, they talk about the gay goats are coming out. I mean, the gay people, uh, they had a woman on television in Charlotte today said she won her election in her office, and I I'm the first to live, Jim. That's done that. And I thought, boy, you ain't got nothing to brag about. You need to read your Bible, honey. Yeah. Come on now. Amen. God didn't make no lesbians. He didn't make no homosexuals. God made a man for a woman and a woman for a man. Amen. That's the book. Take it home, eat it, chew it, live it, ride in your red wagon around the house, and have a good time because that's the word. Amen. Amen. All oh, people are trying to trying to be seen. Lord, have mercy. I, I, there ain't no worry about me being seen. I stay at home if I'm, unless I got somewhere that I need to go. Amen. But I'm tell you one thing. I, I don't know anybody else, but I like these uh, once in a while townhouse pies. You can find you can't hardly find them. But when I find them, I buy me about four or five of them because they're about as good a pie as you ever put in your mouth. Oh, what are you trying to say, preacher? Why well, the reason I took Jesus? He's about the sweetest thing I ever took in. <laughs> Amen. It didn't cost me nothing but to give up the world, give up sin, Miss Lucy. Give it up. And come and say, Lord, here I am. I'm sorry. You know what? You can't get saved unless you find yourself lost. That's right. And when you find yourself lost and undone without God and come to Him and speak to Him, He'll say, Well, come on in, my child. I'll forgive you. Amen. Debbie ain't like a lot of people say, No, I'll never forgive you. I'll never do this. I'll never do that. Amen. It's <laughs> like. Uh, my brother's wife had left him years ago, and they're both dead now. She said, there's one thing about it. I'll forgive him, but I'll never forget it. I said, you ain't forgiving him. Come on now, church. Listen to me. To really forgive somebody, you're going to have to forget it. You may not get out of your mind. You may not never, but you ain't supposed to bring it up every time you talk to somebody. Amen. Come on, I'm trying to preach country tonight. Amen. I'm glad I'm an old country boy. Amen. Bill, I'm glad you're a little city. I mean, country boy over there. <laughs> Lucy comes from the city. That's where it was. Amen. But listen, he said, Do good, O Lord, unto those that be good, 
and to them that are upright in their hearts. Mm-hmm. You want me to tell you why you're not in the funeral home tonight? God's had mercy on you. Amen. You know why you're not in the hospital and sick tonight? God's had mercy on you. You know why you're here tonight? Because you're wanting to get closer to God or you wouldn't drive this far just to come to be seen. Amen. Amen. I didn't drive over here to be seen or heard or glorified a man. I, uh, Brother Stephen, I come down the, the Interstate 40 like uh, Rita said, buddy, that's death trap over there if you ain't careful. And I've never seen my trap, so that's put mine on cruise at 60 and left it there because I wanted to stay out of the crowd. And here they come around, we're on. Amen. Even the law, there's no lights on or nothing. You run 80, they'll run 90. They'll pass you. But there's one thing about it. Why don't we run for Christ like that? Let's get in a hurry to get to the house of God. Let's get in a hurry, amen, to get in our bedroom like I did last night and pray, amen, to him and ask God. Amen. All right, it's God, I go in the bedroom. The Bible says go in the closet. Well, that means go in a place, shut the door where you shut out from the world and pray. Amen. My wife, I prayed for her foot the other night. I said, God, it's a, looking awful bad. The doctor said it's real bad. But God, you still got in control. And I appreciate that you touch her for me. Now you look at her foot. The redness is gone. The swelling is gone. Well, I preach her. Why do you think you are God? No, I don't think I'm God, but I do know him. Amen. And I knew what he said. Chad, he said, if you ask anything. Isn't that what he said? Anything. And there's a little more to it than that. And doubt not. And I'll do it. Boy, I don't doubt it. Tim, praise God, and I pray for you. I don't doubt it. And I said, God, just push your Tim over MDI and let him push that car twice as fast as day. <laughs> no wonder he comes home loose. It's a tar. He comes rushing him through there. Amen. Amen. Aren't you glad God's on your side? Amen. And as for such as turn aside as in their crooked ways, the Lord shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity. But peace shall be upon Israel. You know what? You can do wrong. Ain't none of us in here for what don't do wrong. Ain't none of us for what don't say things. Sometimes we ought to not say it. But you ever think about, ain't it good to know that you say, Lord, I'm sorry? And he is you. But be careful who you say what you say in the front of because they're not like God. They'll just keep blatant. But there's one thing about it. I'm glad that the Lord is on our side. That ain't there what the Psalms, another chapter there says, if it hadn't been for the Lord, said Israel, it's on our side. Amen. That's why he's saying, oh Israel, I'm on your side. And you know what he said to Israel one place over there and all that, folks? If my people, which are called by my name, when humble them said, seek my ways, and turn from their evil ways, then I'll hear from heaven and I'll heal their land. Amen. i tell you what's going to heal America. It's for America to turn back to God. Amen. Amen. And I really believe that with all of my heart, that we need to turn back to God. You think last night in Charlotte, uh, 17-year-old boy, his best friend, got mad over a card game, I believe it was, and he killed him. Seventeen-year-old is going into prison, going to lose his life. In other words, he won't be free like he was. But you want me to tell you something? God will still forgive that young man if he'll ask him to. Amen. Come on, amen. God don't have no respect for person. God is still on the throne. Amen. amen. I'm so glad that I'm here and he's mine. And we all ought to love one another as he's loved us. We mentioned the Sunday in here talking about love. We should show it instead of talk about it. Don't break about it, just show it. Amen. Yes, if somebody was a preacher, uh, well, now listen to what the Bible said. He said you had to love your worst enemy. He said you had to love them and curse you and talk about you and all manner of evil said about you, but you still got to love them. Amen. Amen. I want to tell you something right quick right there. Since the Lord laid on my heart. Back years and years ago, before I came here to church, an old man went to work to the Dennis Hensley, and he got something against Dennis, and Dennis the preacher, him and his boy, and they drove all the way from Marion to my house, and you know where I live, six miles out of Morgan on 64, we're off 64, 
And he drove up there and he come in and he sat there and told all the things that happened. And he said, I wanted to come down here and I know Preacher Michael. And I said, boy, and there sits my witness. My wife was sitting there. I said, boys, you're in the wrong house. Come on now, church. You know where I'm going? Yeah. Bible said if your brother you got on against you, you yourself to go to him. I said, you boys need to turn around and go back to Marion and apologize to them. Essentially, don't come down here and tell me all your troubles and everything. I'm going to, I don't even remember what it was because I've been it from my mind. I said, you're in the wrong house, Doug. You're going to have to go back and talk to him. Well, the next couple of weeks later, one Sunday night, me and Louise went up there to Trinity Hill Church, and there stood this old man in the morning. And I walked up to shake her hands, and he shoved my hand. I ain't shaking hands with you. I ain't got no use for you. Louise said she thought Harrod was going to knock his block off. But you know what Harrod did? I walked over to him and hugged his neck and said, well, that's funny. I love you. Went into church, didn't they, honey? And they both stood up and said, they want to apologize to Preacher Michael. They come over and hugged them and tears run down their face. Let me tell you something. Soft nature turns away wrath. Amen. Come on, amen. Amen? Yeah. Years ago, Brother Doug, back when I was 19, 18, 19 year old, uh, when I carried them for weapons, you know, I might have pumped him upside the head, but God saved me, forgive me, and put them in a pocket before they wouldn't be drawn on nobody else. Ain't you glad of that tonight? That you know what? Hey, listen. Ain't none of you in here what you used to be, but I'll guarantee you tell me tonight you're still not what you would like to be. Right. Yeah. Amen. And if you get where you uh, think you know it all, then the Bible says you don't know nothing. Right. Yeah. Amen. So the old man, every time I've seen him from then on, hugged me and shook my hand and said, Preacher, I, I appreciate you. But boys, I want to tell you something, and I'm not going to lie to you. It's hard to swallow something like that when people refuse you. Arnold and turn you aside and push your hand back. I ain't shaking your hand. <laughs> Amen. I could hold one fellow's hand while you're going to shake it. And I've been pretty stout in my days anyhow. He couldn't get loose. And I said, you ain't getting loose till you say you forgive me. <laughs> Amen. He said, Lord, you're going to break my hand. I forgive you. You know, it would be something if God would squeeze our heart, Arnold, till it hurt, until we said, Lord, I'm sorry. Amen. But right down in here, that little heart. Now listen, the Bible says from abundance of the heart that the mouth speak. However you speak, if you cuss and you tell all these nasty jokes and all things, you need another trip up here to the altar. I don't care if you're a member of this church or non member, whoever you are, you need to get in this order if you can't learn the bride of the tongue. Yeah. That old tongue gets gabbing sometimes, you know. I was reading the Bible today and he said he was going to make my bed in hell. He said, Amen. Thank <coughs> God. If I, if I stand on the highest mountain, thank like God, Tim, he's there. He's here tonight. I feel him. I told my wife, I said, I'll tell you what's true. That's the best singing Sunday night we've had in ages. And I believe that's the best they've sung since they've been coming over here. Amen. How many agree with me on that? Amen. I, I believe that's the best they ever sung. And boy, I mean, we had time. But we all come in one mind, one accord. There's a, a brother sitting right over here, and I told Louise about him. And, uh, he'd had uh, something against me years ago. And, uh, Doug, I mean, it's been five, six years he's been coming once in a while, and he's asked me would I forgive him that he was wrong, and he's here Sunday night. And I hugged his old neck, and I said, boy, it's good to see you. He said, preacher, it's good to see you. He said, my wife's left me, and I, I said, well, don't believe God. Amen. God is still on our side, and we love it. Don't we? Amen. Got your Bible? We'll lift it up. Shake it at the devil. Come on now. Lift it up. Shake it at the devil. Say, oh devil, let's forget about it. We're going to serve God. Come on. I'm going to serve the Lord. Woo! Glory to God. Come on, let's pray. I'm done. Amen.